Xping just crossed a line most people weren't ready for. Their new female humanoid Iron doesn't look like a robot anymore. It looks like a real woman. The moment Iron walked onto the stage, it was obvious this wasn't a normal robot demo. The entire crowd went silent. Many genuinely believed a real woman was pretending to be a robot. Hey guys, welcome to Next Gen AI. Today we're breaking down the female robot that looks shockingly human and how Iron is changing the way we think about robots forever. In the latest showcase, two female Iron robots walk side by side down a straight line. Their movements sync up so perfectly that your brain wants to believe you're looking at a mirror reflection. But here's the crazy part. They're both real robots moving in real time. There's no mirror at all. The coordination is insane because it proves these machines can mimic the same motion patterns with absolute precision. When you see them moving together like that, it just hits different. Now let's talk about why this walk feels so disturbingly human. Xping took inspiration from fashion models strutting down a catwalk. The robots place their feet in a perfect straight line. Their hips sway naturally. Their arms swing with every step. There's no clunky robot stiffness anywhere. This is where it gets mind-blowing. Xping built iron with a fake spine and muscle system that actually copies how human bodies work. Iron uses something called rapid imitation learning, which means the robot can watch and copy human movements in just seconds. The result? A walk so smooth that experts are calling it surprisingly lifelike. And that smoothness isn't just for show. It's the doorway to understanding what's happening inside this machine. Once you see irons move like that, you naturally wonder what kind of engineering makes it possible. Here's where things get even more interesting. Because once you understand the basics, you start to see the real engineering magic happening underneath. What really sets iron apart is the way Xping built irons from the inside. Instead of using stiff metal parts like older robots, iron has a flexible, human-like spine that bends and moves naturally. This lets irons shift irons weight smoothly, absorb small impacts, and stay balanced the same way a real person does when walking or turning. Iron also has synthetic muscles, soft, stretchy actuators that work a lot like real muscle fibers. These muscles don't just pull iron's joints. They spread force across iron's whole body. That's why iron's hips sway, iron's shoulders loosen, and iron's torso moves with smooth, natural motion instead of sharp robot movements. When iron walks like a person made of metal and software, moving in a way that feels almost alive, and that lifelike motion doesn't just look impressive, it leads directly into the bigger picture of why iron matters. When a robot moves this convincingly, it changes everything. People might actually want to interact with these machines in offices, stores, or museums. You're not dealing with that old jerky robotics demo anymore. This is controlled, deliberate, catwalk-level precision. And that raises the bar for every other company in this space. Xping just showed us what's possible when you nail the hardware, tune the control algorithms perfectly, and integrate real-time adaptation. Before we move on, if you love deep dive robot breakdowns like this, subscribe to the Next Gen AI so you don't miss the next big AI moment. When Iron walked onto the stage at Xping's big event in Guangzhou, China, the company showed Iron's movement in a simple, controlled way. The team focused on Iron's balance, stability, and how smoothly Iron moved under real stage lighting. To make the demo clearer, Xping did something unusual. The engineers carefully removed a few pieces of Iron's outer skin right there on stage. This wasn't for drama. It was to show the audience what was actually inside. Under the surface were robotic joints, metal parts, and all the systems working together to create Iron's smooth movement. The surprising part? Even with some of the outside removed, Iron kept walking normally. This proved that the movement wasn't a trick, it was real engineering. So what makes Iron look so lifelike? Iron is about 5 feet 8 inches tall, similar to a real person. But the real difference is in the way Iron moves. Iron has 82 degrees of freedom across the body. 
Each hand has 22 moving points. This allows iron to bend, turn, point, and grab things in a very natural way. Iron is powered by Xpeng's VLT brain, vision, language, and task. This system works with two more AI models, VLA, which helps iron see and act, and VLM, which helps iron understand what iron is looking at. All of this runs on three custom chips that together deliver 2,250 tops of computing power. Xpeng also chose to give iron a female appearance for a reason. They want the robot to feel warm, gentle, and friendly for future home use. Buyers will even be able to pick different body types and styles. The CEO compared it to choosing a car color. In the future, people might choose their robots look the same way. What do you think? Is iron impressive or a little too human for comfort? Let me know below. Let me tell you about Xpeng real quick, because it helps explain why iron exists in the first place. Xpeng is one of China's biggest electric car companies, often called the Chinese Tesla. They've built smart, high-tech cars for years. But here's something interesting. Out of the seven robot versions Xpeng created, five were four-legged robots like robot dogs. They eventually stopped making those because human-shaped robots collect much better data in human spaces like homes, stores, and offices. Iron also comes with some strong hardware. Xpeng says Iron has the first all-solid-state battery ever used in a robot. These batteries are safer, last longer, and hold more energy. Iron also uses shape-changing fake muscles and soft skin with touch sensors to make interactions feel more natural. But even with all this advanced tech, Xpeng is careful about how they deploy iron. They plan to start preparing for mass production this year and hope to begin full production by late 2026. Still, they're avoiding factory jobs because iron's hands wear out too fast, and they aren't ready to use iron for home chores yet because homes are unpredictable and safety is a big concern. So for now, iron's first real jobs will be in commercial spaces, helping customers, guiding visitors, or welcoming people at reception desks. The very first place people will see iron working is Xpeng's own car stores. This lets the company test iron in a safe, controlled environment. Here's why iron matters. When a robot moves this smoothly and naturally, people are more willing to interact with it. Xpeng has raised the standard for the whole robotics industry. Iron's importance goes beyond looks or hardware. Iron makes us ask big questions about the future. How human-like should robots be? How do we want them to behave around us? Xpeng even added a new rule, a fourth law of robotics. Robots cannot share any human secrets or private information. Iron proves that the age of humanoid robots isn't coming someday. It's already here. Whether you find that exciting or a bit scary, one thing is certain. Xpeng's iron is a major step forward. And that's why iron is one of the most important humanoid robots of 2025.